We of the RAR used to laugh at your soldiers. To us they looked like boys, but they showed us how to fight. They have the faces of boys, but they fight like lions. In Kermo's crowd, which is Zapu, were trained by Russians, and they were really far more conventionally orientated than which were the Zandler crowd under Mugabe. Back in Salisbury, the RLI troopies cemented their unenviable reputation as brawling hooligans. During r &Rs, the British South Africa police and the military police were fully stretched in trying to maintain order. Meanwhile, ZANU had not been idle. Under the leadership of the astute and charismatic general, Josiah Tongogara, it was busy establishing its bases in the Tet province of Mozambique, with the blessing of Frelimo's Samora Michelle. Several massive guerrilla camps were identified, but the general reluctance of the Portuguese to close with the enemy confounded the Rhodesian's efforts. Results were haphazard. Inside Rhodesia, the guerrillas had changed their tactics. No more would they find themselves cut off from the people, the peasants who provided their food, shelter and women. No more would they be caught in the open by the Rhodesians. A massive infiltration by Zanla's political commissars commenced in 1971 to indoctrinate and politicize the masses by means fair or foul.